<laughs> Hello everybody. Uh, we've managed to get through another week, which is uh, good news. Um, I'm sure, like me, you've had ups and downs along the way. Um, but the weekend beckons and what better thing to do than to get crafting and try and take your mind off things just a little bit. This weekend it's all about pom-poms um, and if you've looked at my Instagram page or Facebook you'll see a few different suggestions for how to make them. Now once you have made your pom-poms and you know you can get the whole family involved in this or if like me you live on your own you can just do it in splendid isolation so you you can get your pom-poms and they can either be plain or just for fun uh, you can have a go at doing rainbow colored pom-poms which i think are really great um but if you string them onto another piece of wool you can make your very own pom-pom bunting, which will look a, a lovely decoration for Easter. So maybe that's worth having a go at. Um, of course, if you don't want to use them as, as bunting, then you can use them as a beautiful sort of scarf, just like that, which is rather lovely too. Um, another idea for your pom-poms, if you don't want to do bunting type stuff, is to do your own little Easter wreath. And all you need to do that is cut a circle from cardboard, stick on a hanger, and then once you've got your pom-poms, just cut off the little tail and stick them one by one onto your little wreath shape, and you'll have a little Easter decoration to stick on your front door, or maybe but anywhere in the house. Why not? It's Easter time coming up soon. Um, with that in mind, a project for the little ones could be to make their very own little Easter chick. Um, and I'm going to put a pattern for his wings and his beak and his little eyes and feet on uh, Instagram and on my new website, maryjanemakes.co.uk. Thank you to Gary for making it happen. So there'll be a little pattern for that little chap on on there and you can have a go perhaps at making one of these which again would be a lovely little easter decoration um put him next to a little egg and he'll look deli delicious uh don't eat him though um final suggestion uh, and this is for the fashion easters amongst you and i count myself as one of those is to use the pom-poms to do a boho upcycle on a pair of lace-up boots or shoes so that's my lace-up boot there all you do is get your pom-poms and take the little thread that you've made them on and pull it right down over your finger like that to make a little loop just chop off that thread there so I'm left with I don't know if you can see it a little loop and I can thread that onto the laces of my boot or shoe under your lace and thread them on bit by bit one by one and you too shall have a pair of these fabulous boho upcycled boots and if you stomp around the house in those i think you're going to look every inch the fashion easter for easter so everybody uh, i hope you have a decent weekend get pom-poming send me all your pictures I'm now live with my website, maryjanemakes.co.uk and I'd love to see what you're up to and you can see all of these suggestions on there too. All right, take care and stay safe and well. Bye-bye from the Stationery Makery. Bye.